What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ask the Ma'ash. This is my fabulous, on point, awesome, extraordinarily beautiful husband, Igeze. And this right here is my inviting, enticing, delicious, succulent, supple. No. Edible. I don't like succulent. It's not like a sub. Was that not like a crab claw or something? Who's succulent to me, man? <laughs> Shut up. This is my lovely wife. Hi, Mira. guys. For those who are not familiar with us, um, we are the Ma'at, and we answer questions, we give advice, we talk about relationships, and we try to keep you connected to what is really important in life, which are relationships. Because I saw a quote the other day, mm-hmm. and it's not a new quote. I'm sure y'all have heard it. And the quote said, remember the important things in life. Remember the ones that you love. But he ain't saying it like this, but I'm sizing it a little bit. You always talk about <laughs> something, remember some quote, or you're trying to quote something, but you don't ever know what the quote is. No, I, I get the spirit of the quote. Okay, I don't remember the exact <laughs> phrase, but the spirit <laughs> of the you quote. You start saying, like, so in the spirit of the quote that I heard or that I read. Let me before, tell you what it said. <laughs> Basically, though, the, the quote was, um, it spoke to the fact that you need to remember the ones who are important to you. You need to remember the people who matter. You need to remember your family, your spouse your boo, your children, because when you are at the end of your days, it will not be your job that takes care of you. It will not be your money that comes to see about you. It will not be your car that pauses to make sure you're okay. It will be your family. It will be the people who you count as family, whether biological um, or folks who have grown to be your family over time. So mm-hmm. that's important, y'all. I don't know why I just shared that, but I just felt led. We're going to answer a question, and we're going to get right to it. It comes from a young lady, and here it I'm is. I'm laying on the table. Here it is. I have been married to my husband for one year. We just celebrated our first anniversary. This year has been very challenging, and I'm not sure what I expected, but I never thought that I would be at a point where I am questioning if I should have married him. My letter would be too long to discuss every detail. However, the current issue has prompted me to get your opinion on our latest challenge. My husband has shared a medical diagnosis with some friends of his. These are not our friends, but his friends. I know these people, but I don't believe I have a relationship where I would share my medical record with them. However, I asked my husband, who did he share the information with? I said, one person. Then it became two. Needless to say, I was furious. Although the diagnosis is not life-threatening, it is still no one's business. We are working on our trust issues already, but how can I begin to trust my husband when he continues to do things to violate my trust in him? Well, well, I'm, Yeah, well. I'm kind of unclear. It's her medical diagnosis. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just getting. That's what I've gathered from, mm-hmm. from, from reading. Yeah, let's just roll with that. Let's just assume that it's mm-hmm. that it's her medical diagnosis. Because she said my medical um, where uh, I don't believe I have a relationship where I would share my medical record with them. Okay. 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 Um. You when you something? when you are, I'm not sure how you all how long you all dated prior to marriage, but you know whenever you enter into a relationship, there's some growing pains that that come attached to. Or that come with the relationship mm-hmm. itself. So, I mean, you're going to experience the bumps and bruises in any relationship as long as you all are moving forward to to building that relationship. And they're trying to do it successfully. So, so just keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect. I mean, you all have only been married for a year, so he's going to mess up. You know, he's going to mess up. And this is something right here that that I would say, um, you know, he, he probably should not have done. He should not have done. No especially, problem. yeah, especially if um, you know, you you he should have come to you first. So, I mean, that's you all's business. That's your business more specifically, and he should have talked to you and and seen whether or not you're comfortable with him sharing that piece of information. But at the same time, too, what I'll say is that you all are newlyweds. And and although he, he didn't know. <laughs> yeah, although he should have known to come to you first, he just ain't know. He just didn't know. So he messed up. And I don't think that, that, that this type of violation um, it's like violation where you should start questioning trust issues or issues of, what? of um, you know. She said they were already judgment. working on their trust, so there must be. So some yeah, I'm other curious stuff. to see, you know, what what may have been the the mm-hmm. reason for for the trust issues in the first place. But but again, you know, I don't think that this particular issue is one where it um, you know, could be so damaging to the relationship that you all can't, you know, repair it. But what I will say is that again, accept the growing pains that come with the relationship. You all can have a fabulous relationship. You know, as long as you all continue to to or decide to invest in each other and focus on each other, but 
with that territory comes, like I said, the issues that, that successful relationships are built off of. We've been through a lot of stuff. My wife, she's probably put out some of my business that I didn't want her to share. I know I put out some of her business that she probably didn't want me to share. It's that right. Yeah, I mean, but again, it comes with the territory. I mean, when you're kicking it with your fellas, and, you know, if you got something in your heart, more than likely you're going to share what's going on in your relationship with your woman. And, you know, what my wife and I have grown to do, what I've learned to do, <laughs> is is um you know really you don't share people's really medical ascertain, diagnosis yeah you know whether or not it's something that's appropriate to be shared with everybody else so basically mm-hmm. we have the conversation first you know I ask my wife and you do ask me like is that okay for me to share exactly I mean mm-hmm. that's one way you can start covering any issues mm-hmm. um in the future but you know I ask my wife first she asks me and if she says no I ain't sharing if I say no she's not sharing it because she got some big mouth friends yeah mm hmm. <laughs> y'all know how women be. Yeah, you talking about. Y'all know how women be. So, so, so yeah. So, you know, again, this is something that you all can work through. Um, he just ain't know. So, just give him some grace. Come on, y'all, to wrap it up. I'm done. <laughs> I got you right there. Let me say something. Can I say something? Uh mm-hmm. huh. Your question was, how is it that I can move forward in this relationship and build the trust when he keeps violating my trust? So when you identify there's a breach, like my husband has said, you have to first name it very clearly. And you want to name it outside of the time when you're very upset about it, outside of the time when you're responding in the moment of um, um, extreme pissosity. And you want to come back to him and you want to say, hey, I want to follow that back up. So you probably didn't know any better. You got to cut him some slack. That's how you move forward. You cut Mm. him some slack. Right. You do what my husband has said is recognize where you all are in the stage of your growth. You're still learning what the rules are because there are some rules that are universal for relationships, but most of the rules are made just for the two of you. Mm -hmm. But you have to develop them and you have to recognize that you're in a place of development. Right. As newlyweds. So recognize that and cut him some slack. And then once you have clearly come to him and said, this is an issue that I have. I don't want you sharing my information with folks. I don't care if it's a yeast infection or if it's cancer. That's my business. When you get clear about that, then you share it with him in a place where you're not upset, and then you move forward, and you let it go, and you don't hold on to it. That's how you move forward. You communicate. You express yourself calmly. You cut him some slack. You love up on him, and you start playing, and you start pushing. Deuces.